Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a vlog for you. So wish me luck, I've literally not done one of these in so long. But I just thought I'd prop you up now. I'm using like my proper DSLR as well. So if you see me like with my arms like hurting or anything, it's because it's really heavy. And um, the reason why I'm vlogging today is because I'm going to a media makeup event for one of my friends I used to go to college with and I just thought I'd vlog it really because it's meant to be a really good event. Um, there's like a lot of really good talent there and everything and I've got a friend from uni coming with me as well So she might vlog as well. So I'll put a link to her channel below Yeah, so this morning it's like I've had a really late start like it's like half ten now And I've got to go and do loads of errands and stuff and then I've got to go to uni And do some of my dissertation like I've literally got what date we're now Fifth so I've got 13 days left of uni like that literally that's it and then I'm done but I've got to do my dissertation. I've still got two more chapters to write, so wish me luck on that. And I've also got a deadline tomorrow. <laughs> Forgot about that one. I've got a deadline tomorrow, but it's basically done. And yeah, I've got to go meet my dissertation tutor for her to tell me if it's crap or not, which is going to be great. You have to tell me as well in the comments if my eyebrows look really dark. I literally got them done yesterday, but I told her to do them really thick. And I really liked them when I first got them done, but now I'm wondering whether they're a bit thick. Like, do they look a bit like, you know what I mean? Like a bit too dark and a bit too thick. But I really like them, but this one's just forever be the ugly brow. So yeah, I'm doing a vlog and I'm gonna vlog as much as I can today, but probably most of the footage is gonna be the event because I've just got like, I'm just gonna literally be doing uni work all day, so it's really not gonna be interesting at all. And my room's a proper mess, like can you tell already? That's disgusting. I've literally not had time to do anything like anyone who's in uni or college or whatever you'll know like when it gets to around May time and April it just gets all gets so like stressful and stuff because you have so many deadlines all in for the same time and it's just really stressful so you just feel like you can't do anything or if you are doing anything you feel really guilty the fact that you're doing something else when you should be doing that so you don't do anything and then you don't do your work as well and then it's continuous loop in it but I need to stop trying because I really need to go Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about actually. Because I didn't want to talk about it in, in a proper like main channel video. I wanted to do it in like a little vlog. Is this like sleek contour kit, the cream kit. I don't know if any of you have tried it, but it's so good. Like literally, like, my makeup has been completely transformed by this kit. Because you get like this little piece of paper that tells you how to do it and everything. And it's literally just that. So as long as you have like a range of different... So if you have like an angled brush, you don't even need an angled brush actually, as long as you have like three brushes that you can use, like I use, let me find some, I use that one, and that one, and that one, so I use the Real Techniques contour brush, the Real Techniques, the Real Techniques expert face brush, and then this is just a crappy one I think, like it's just one of those, I don't even know what brand that is. Oh, it's like eco something, like eco tools or something, if everyone's heard of that. That just came in like a face brush set. So, you literally just use these three and it's really good. But I think this is literally like eight quid, I'm not even kidding, like eight pound. And I put it underneath my foundation and it just works so well. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like, because the, the ISO is a bit bright, but like the finish on it and stuff, you just feel so... It's just brilliant. Like, it gives you instructions as well. So if you're not sure how to contour, then that's like a really perfect thing for you to do. And I realise as well, I say like a lot, I'm really gonna try and not say that because I know it's really annoying, it annoys me when I watch it back. So I'll try not to say like, I'll try not to say so, and I'll try not to say literally as well. So I'll just say it again. <laughs> See, it's really hard. I can't do it unless I say so. So it's just like a good, what's the word? Oh, I'm supposed to be an English student and I don't even know connective speech. I'm worrying that in it. Right, okay, so I'm going to start blubbering now. I'm going to go make some food for my travels. I'm going to have to eat on the wet. Also, this is from H&M. H&M Home, if anyone wants one. It's supposed to be like a bathroom thing, like, you know, like the ones you keep your toothbrushes in and that, but I use it for a face, for like a for, um, my makeup brushes. Also, if you want to know where I got my eyebrows done, this is just a quick thing. Eyebrows and nails, I got them like in a khaki colour. I got them done at Urban Escape. I keep calling it Urban Decay, but it's Urban Escape in Worsley, if anyone wants to get there brows and nails done because they're really good there and always make me look fabulous. If you want to get your brows done, like HD brows, this is what I get done. I get it done at Urban Escape in Wesley. So right, I'm going to start blabbering now. I'm going to go make some food and then I'm going to go and do all my little errands and then I'm going to go to uni because I've got an appointment at 1 and it's now 20 to 11 and I've still got to do uni work. I've got such a busy day. <laughs> oh, I can't 
can't do it. I don't want an adult. Okay, stop talking. I need to go and get ready. See you soon. Also, just really quick, I wanted to show you my outfit because I really like it today. I think it's pretty good. God, this is so heavy. This is not going to end good. Also, I love when your neighbours can see you filming like, what the fuck is she doing? But, you know. Right, okay, I'm just going to show you my outfit really quick. So these jeans are my favourite jeans of all time. Like, if anyone knows me, they'll see I wear them like all the time. These are from New Look really nice they're just such nice like they're called disco pants so they just fit really well so they're just basically like leggings this and then on the back it's like like that so it's just so nice and it just fits really nice as well this is from Topshop by the way this body and then my jacket my bomber jacket is from Zara I think it's only like 29.99 or something but I just love it like I've literally been wearing it with everything at the moment so it just goes with just anything you want to wear I'm gonna go make some food but I thought instead of me just doing it and not talking. I'm gonna take her along with me. Oh, hello, puppy. Um, yeah, so I'll put you in the cupboard or something. One second, I'm gonna put you here. Here? No? Right, here, you have to go in the cupboard then. What the hell? Right, I've literally got nowhere to put you. Where can I put you? I'm just gonna have to carry you. Right, okay, so we're gonna make some bagels. Okay, so my favourite meal at the moment is wholemeal bagel with, oh my god, that's so heavy, I can't carry it. <laughs> is that high? <laughs> I'm such a fail. This is why I don't vlog, because I'm such a fail at it. Yeah. Right, so my favourite thing at the moment is bagel. And I also toast them as well, so it's really nice. Wow, that's such an artistic angle. So anyone who wants a student meal or anything that's super quick, tear it in half, put it in the toaster. This is like such exciting content, like oh my god, why don't I have more subscribers? Hey little pup. Hi. Hi. Why do you ignore me? You waiting for someone? Are you expecting someone? I've not actually like got a microphone or anything or one of the muff things, if anyone knows what I mean, like for the top of the camera. So it might be a bit windy and stuff in places or it might be a bit like, the sound might be a bit flat. But what can you do? I'm going to do that I think like in the next, like the next purchase for YouTube stuff is going to be a microphone and probably a better light as well. I actually want um, a softbox. Or maybe a ring, mm, a ring light. But ring lights are so expensive, like if anyone who does YouTube or photography or whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to put this thing back on the knife. If anyone does like YouTube or photography, you know that like equipment is so expensive, like literally. Oh, I've said like and literally in the same sentence for about 20 times. It's so expensive. So like to get, I said like again. To build up your equipment, you've got to do it in stages. So like it's taken me about a year just to get like quite a lot, just adequate equipment really. And I still need more stuff. So anyone who knows, like a an affordable ring light basically just let me know because I really want a ring light and I want a new microphone as well. Like the Rode mics are really good but they're just so expensive. I can't bring myself to buy one. This top's very thin. What can you do? Another thing, another annoying thing with it is like you can't wear a bra with it just because of the back. So, right, okay. I'm going to go now because I need to do all my errands. I've got so much to do. And then I will report back when I have a chance. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna vlog really quick because I'm in a car park at uni, so probably people are gonna be looking at me really weird. But I've literally had the most stressful day I think I've ever had in my whole entire life. Like I did went for my dissertation meeting and she just basically said no. <laughs> so I've got to basically like do it all over again in like 15 days. No, 13 days. So yeah, it's just been proper stressful. And I've looked a bit on edge just because I'm in like a really busy car park and people are just walking around all the time and they probably think I'm an absolute psycho. We think I'm taking selfies or something because that's the thing but yeah I'm literally gonna go and get something to eat now because I'm so hungry and then probably go and meet Nick to go to this event but I've got no data so I can't even contact her Nightmare. oh future reference my vlogs are going to be on an Olympus pen really good so they're gonna be better quality and stuff and I'm not gonna have to carry this really heavy camera oh my god it's so hot it's like sweating like it's so warm Right, I'm gonna go now because 
I'm getting super weird looks. <laughs> camera um, I thought I'd vlog a tiny bit today just to follow on from the last I'm not naked by the way I've got a top on I'm sure that looks like I'm naked um, I thought I'd vlog today because today's a very special day I have just submitted my last ever assignment for university so I'm completely done that's it it's all done I'm so excited in fact I can actually just chill now and do things I actually want to do not that I didn't enjoy the course I did it was very good um, I just, I'm more interested obviously in blogging and YouTube and stuff so I'm excited to do some of that. Um, I think I'll add this on actually to some footage I got from a media makeup event, it was a couple of weeks ago now. But I thought I'm not going to edit it until I've got all my assignments in. It really looks like I'm naked <laughs> so I'll do that, there we go. Um, yeah so it's so weird. I'm just free. Anyone who's just recently finished university or um, education in general it's the most weirdest feeling ever it's like well what do I do now do you know what I mean it's really odd. I've realized that I'm looking at the viewfinder and the screen's here so sorry about that oh god it just feels so weird like I I don't know how people go from like school and go straight into jobs because now this is so weird like I feel like I'm really behind the fact I don't know what to do with myself and it seems a really stupid thing to say but I think it's just because it's a big part of your life and I've been in education since forever and this is going to be the first time that I'm not so it's like what do you do do you get a job or do you just chill and see what happens <laughs> I think it's just one of those things 
I think as well um, over the summer I'm going to be doing a lot of YouTube things like I'm planning on doing a vlog maybe a week or maybe every two weeks depending on obviously footage um, I am going away in June and July so that's a bit more exciting footage for you rather than me just sitting in my room just talking to a camera and also I need to get used to actually vlogging in public because I know that's just one of those things if, if you're a, a vlogger or you've done anything like that before it's the most oddest sensation because people look at you like you're an absolute psychopath but it's I think now it's basically the norm like if I see someone vlogging I think that's the norm now because it's just everyone does it don't they really well not everyone but you know what I mean it's really common now just thought I'd vlog, let you know that I'm at the point now where I'm done and it's just the most special experience. I, anyone who's been in university and done the last year and done a dissertation, you'll know it's the most agon- Oh, sorry, nearly knocked the screen off. You'll know it's the most agonising couple of months of your life because you just have to change things. Sometimes you have to change a question and I had to completely start again with like two weeks to go. So that was a nightmare. But I think you'll see that. I think that's in my footage, like on the one in the previous footage from like last week so you'll probably see me panicking about that but it's done now like I never thought I'd get to this point where it's completely done but let me know what videos you want me to film and blog posts and stuff I do want to redesign my blog again for like the 16th time I know I do that a lot but let me know YouTube videos anything you want me to do I'm thinking of doing probably I need to do monthly favourites I'm going to film the main monthly favourites at some point I've got so much new makeup and products that I want to talk about I wanted to do Obviously vlogs, that's going to be a main aim for over the summer because I just, I enjoy, I don't know about you but I really enjoy watching vlogs, like vlogs are my favourite YouTube videos to watch just because it's nice to see a day in the life of someone else, like although my life is pretty boring to be honest, there's not really much to film but I'm hoping to plan some stuff over summer so it might be a bit more interesting. Yeah and vlogs I'm going to be doing a lot of beauty stuff as always and I really 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 want to do some more fashion posts like it's really hard to find someone to take the pictures for you because obviously you'd have to pay like a professional photographer which is just not gonna happen for me but I'm going to rope in friends I think to take some fashion photos for me so I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I know it's been quite boring though and subscribe to the channel to see more videos because there's gonna be a lot more videos going on in the next couple of weeks and also check out my blog there will be a link down below also check out the um social media for the people at the media makeup event and also nick who I went with who also does um youtube and blogging and stuff so you can check out hers i'll put that down below and yeah so stay tuned for more videos bye